One, two, one. Two. One. This is not Hula Dance, no, by the way. Maybe that was so much special. <laughs> you look good in them. Thanks. <laughs> Bloomies are forever. <laughs> We're gonna start now. Okay, starting. Hi everyone, I'm Melissa. I'm Karen, Lavender Clothesline. And I'm Lisa. And I'm with my mom and sister today. They flew down from Pennsylvania to be with me here in Florida. And it's been awesome to have them. Now somebody say something else. <laughs> it's so <laughs> awkward. <laughs> Just don't look at say me. Say a little bit about yourself. No, no, please don't. Okay. <laughs> I don't want to say anything about myself. Lisa doesn't really want to be here. <laughs> <laughs> she has to. We're making her. <laughs> <laughs> so my mom is also an eBay seller and you can find her at Lavender Clothesline, which I will leave below. And my sister does a lot of things and she doesn't want me to talk about her too much. <laughs> so I watch. <laughs> That's the end of that. So we went to the bins the other day, what everybody wants to do on vacation. And it was the end of the day, so they weren't really switching out the bins very much. And they were quite gross. And yeah, well, Lisa doesn't <laughs> usually go to the bins, but it was. It was kind of dirty. You take this, and then you take that. <laughs> yeah. It was a little bit of that, because the end of the day. But we did find some stuff. We kind of pushed ourselves a little bit more than if it would have been at the beginning of the day, when things would have been more plentiful. And so some of this stuff we probably wouldn't have picked up, but I think it still will bring a profit. So we spent the same exact amount, almost exactly. We had a half hour at the bins and mom spent, I think it was $9.81. $8.89. Nope. That number. $8.89. <laughs> and I spent $8.90. So what you're about to see are equal hauls really and we had the same amount of time same amount of money and i want you to vote in the comments with whether you think my mom did well her name is karen or i did better but let's just say lisa <laughs> was helping you and i didn't find out they were cheating until yeah but i found two through. things she wound up putting back so that really, really? doesn't count okay. you thought... found an insole for me but i might keep those <laughs> <laughs> you did great oh yeah <laughs> my big helpful uh yeah tips there Okay, so we'll get started. Who wants to show something first? Um, I'll go first. Okay. The first thing I found, well, it's not the first thing I found, but the first thing I'll show oh, is a God. Christmas ornament. It's supposed to be mine. What? This I think I paid this? for that. No. No? No. no. <laughs> okay, so, no. I thought I did. I'm thinking this is supposed to be a mouse and it's an ornament. It feels like it's made out of paper mache. It is made in China, no, made in Philippines. I just thought it was cute. I don't know that it'll bring much money, but the thing I liked about it is it looks like a rat. It doesn't really look like a mouse. I don't know if you guys can see that. But, she um, said she didn't want it, and then you said you wanted it, and that's when mom took it back. <laughs> Did she take it back? <laughs> it's very cute. It's got a sweet face. So if you collect Christmas rats, <laughs> this will be for sale in my store soon. And I don't know, it doesn't even weigh, I'm gonna say it weighs like eight ounces. So what, what's the price per pound at your bins? There is no price per pound on oh. my goods. Linens are 99 cents per pound. Clothing is $1.99 per pound. And then everything else, it's up to the cashier. So if they look and say, okay, everything is $2, you pay $2. But every cashier is different. And we didn't have a great cashier last night. Oh, she charged us more she than She charged us a cashier? little bit more. And yeah. I was being really nice to her too. <laughs> painted I thought he's he almost cute. cute but he's a little edgy so yeah I liked him yeah okay so Good that find. was my first find I normally wouldn't pick this up but it was slim pickings and how much will you price this for where? I price everything for a million dollars I'm gonna say I'm gonna price him for probably 2250 $19.99 something like that I know I know but I still am doing what I want. You sell stuff. Yes. So yes. good for you. And it's true. I didn't want him until Melissa wanted him. And then I took him back. I said, look, girls. Melissa, no, I don't want this. And she said, I'll take it. I'm like, I'm taking this. It was so cute and unusual. Yeah. Okay. Good for you. <laughs> you want to go next? Hand me this. I can hand you things next. Lisa, help me find these. These are Brooks. Not Brooks Brothers. Just Brooks, which is a shoe company. And they're insoles and I'm keeping them. 
Are those new or used? Uh, they, look new. they look fairly new. Yes. They look a little used, unless it was just from being in the dirty bins. There's nobody's foot imprint on them, though. That one looks a little bit more worn it than does. this. It does. A little bit more dirty. Somebody hopped. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll use them. So the worth to me is probably 4 or $5. I think I could probably get that same amount on eBay if I put them on, but I'm keeping them. Okay, Mom. This is called Worldwide Sportsman, and it is an XX Large. It is a button-down that is meant for outdoor hiking or sports or fishing, fishing whatever it is. Yep, and it has a mesh liner inside and it's pink checkered. I've never sold this brand before that I remember. It has world tab sleeves, but I'm gonna list this. It looks new. I'll, I'll call it pre-owned, but in very good condition. And I'll probably, without checking comps, I'm guessing $20 and then I'll take a best offer or um, put it on sale. Yep, definitely. So That's a good find. Yep, you think? And that probably weighed less than a pound. So oh yeah, maybe yeah. 12 ounces, eight ounces. Yeah, so you like probably that. pay just over a dollar for it. I yeah, think. yep, so that was my find. Good. What would you like next? Just hand me the next thing. Before going to the bins, my mom, Lisa, and I went to our retail Goodwill, which is only just about a mile and a half away, but their prices are so high. And they put out a lot more stained clothing than any other Goodwill I have ever been to. So you really have to check. So we only got one piece there um, each, and I paid $4.49 for this. It is this. <laughs> it's a very satin polyester uh, Christmas Fabergé yeah. egg chain themed <laughs> blouse. Uh, I we love this. Yeah, that was really good fun. I love that print. Yeah, the print is amazing, right? And it was in really good condition. And I'll probably price this for about twenty twenty five dollars, I would think. I'm trying to remember when I see prints like this. I don't know. They use a keyword, and I can't think of it. It's not luxury. It's something else. Because I had a couple of shoes okay. like that that did really well. Yeah. And I think something like that doesn't go on the brand name. It just strictly goes on the print, or do you yeah. recognize that brand no, name? No, I don't recognize. The brand okay. name is Arena, E-R-E-N-A. Vintage, you think? I don't think so. It's made in Macaw. Is that how to say that? Yeah. Huh? It has a style number, so I'll have to look it up. It could be sold on a home shopping program, but I don't recognize it. So is there a third home shopping program I don't know about? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. But still, this would be adorable on a younger person, like tied at yes. the waist yeah. with like a really thin um, pant. Yeah. With those um, velvet smoking <clears throat> slipper shoes, the slip-on ones with the jewels. Somebody do that. <laughs> hey. All right. My next is a hand-painted. It is a, I'm going to call it a knit cover-up vest, maybe with a flyaway hem and it's got peacock let's see if i'm showing that right feather print and again i had never heard of this brand adore a-d-o-r-e and I, I can't stand up and try it on can i sure with the camera yeah and you picked this up at the retail goodwill so yes. you paid 3.99 um i don't know my tag is you're here $4.49. Oh, so you paid the same as my blouse. It looks really pretty on you. The knit is amazing. It's a very fine knit. Yeah. And I looked up comps on this, and um, they, they do quite well. Yeah. So, um, like I said, never heard of it. Don't you think she looks pretty? Yeah. I like the green. <laughs> you, know, you have to say yes. <laughs> yes, 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 she does look very pretty. <laughs> and this is made out of viscose, which is rayon, right? Is viscose? I think viscose is a before God, rayon. God, yeah. We're rayon. Yep. Yeah. And here's the price tag. You did say what? What are you gonna sell it for? I'm gonna sell the four forty nine. I'm gonna put this on for thirty five dollars. I think you should price it slightly <laughs> higher. Like, <laughs> no, I actually Mom's think slightly good. higher. Really? Yeah. Some of the comps were pulling fifty dollars. So some you might want to look at the comps again. And you have a good size, and you have the good print. Yep. Yeah. A lot of items that I put on, unless I know they're 50 or 60 or higher, I don't look at comps. Don't do that. Don't do what I do. <laughs> you know, I just, 
Yeah, I've learned from scavenger life from um, Jay and Ryan. She just, when she's not sure, she just throws a price out there and that's what she wants and she gets she it. She gets it, yeah, so. That's good. I pattern my store after them. Yeah, uh -huh. and my mom has a very large space to store items. How many tubs of items do you have, do you think? I'm gonna say about 140 of the, um, the bins that are, I think they're 20 to 24 gallons. Yeah, so they're the big tubs. That's yeah. incredible, and her basement is so organized. You have it set up beautifully down there. I wonder if I can insert some footage. Do you have footage that we can I insert? I do. Can... Yes. Great. Yes. We will do that now. Yeah, and that's all for clothing, and I'm not supposed to be talking now because... We is... will do that now. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm supposed to be quiet? <laughs> okay. I just needed to I know it's a break. Okay. All right. Good. Moving on. This I found at the bins. I don't know that I would pick this up knowing what I know now, but the brand is Just Kate. I've never heard of that brand. Like it, no? it looked a little like kid-like. I thought it was the old thing. Isn't there a... There are. So the only thing I bought this on was the fact that it was made in the USA. I really liked that. And there's a style number. So I'll put it into Google and find it. This looks like it might bring six or seven dollars. It's like a really six or seven dollars. Yeah. Slug what size is knit. So <laughs> so uh, it's a medium. Make her try it on. Okay. I'll give you ten dollars. No, oh my goodness, I paid less than a dollar for this. Let's I have a China. fabric shaver. I think it's a little pilly in places, so where's the other sleeve? There you go. Oh, that's really cute on you. I'm touching your butt. <laughs> <laughs> I think of you. You could probably even tie it. Can you wrap it right now? I don't think no. okay. Probably like this. Oh, that's really cute. Yeah. Yeah. Yours. Okay. Free. <laughs> Not free. Free. Sold. <laughs> For having to do this video. Yes. <laughs> Worth it. And did we wash that? Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> you touched it. Was this at the bins? I did disinfect it. I sprayed it. Was this at the bins? It was at the bins. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to go take a shot? Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Here, why don't you show the second piece and I'll make you try this on it? No. <laughs> this is water and water. Oh, I've heard of that before. I've sold that before. I Who think it's that? like a. Here we go. Let's see if I can get in focus. Is it Susan Water? I can't remember the name. Okay, so I think this is like more of a bridal line and they do well, a lot of um, girls' dresses. Wait, what's that called? When bridesmaid? Bridesmaid dresses. It has hooks. This hook is a little loose, so it's going to need restitched. But past that, I liked it. I like the style. Somebody could wear that with like black pants. I would think if they needed a fancier. Yeah, the buttons are great. Yeah. Look at those pearl buttons. And they're in great shape. Yeah. What color do we call that? Magenta. There you go. Right? That's how that looks. I, I'm not doing a very good job modeling yet, but yeah. Big mom tried on. It's from the bins. I know why. Mom tried everything off on the bins. It fits <laughs> <laughs> it. I think I remember wearing things like that in the Size 80s, and 90s, so. <laughs> oh, you're doing it. Lisa had to do it. It's Jeremy. I, I sprayed tell. everything. Even the clothes I sprayed. Okay, here we go. Okay. <laughs> this is too small for me. It's a size four, I think. Yeah, and I'm not a four anymore. I got that. <laughs> it's just from vacation. I feel like I'm in that show Dynasty. Does everyone remember Dynasty in the 80s? Yeah, I can't even button this. you got to be kidding. Oh, should have made Lisa try it on. No. <laughs> it's one of the bins. I learned my lesson. With two buttons. <laughs> Perfect. It's great. Yep. Good job modeling. All the men will want to date me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next piece, Mom. Thank okay. <laughs> I wound up picking up a few plates. This has, I think this is um, gold trim. Not positive on that, and it is an acorn print. What? Which way do we think this goes? That's like the bottom. That. I feel like the heavy. This is the yeah, bottom. The heavy side would be oh, the bottom. Oh, okay. right. 
so don't look at my nails, they're not done, but I thought that was a really pretty print. And the back, made in Germany. Will they be able to see that? Will that Probably Possibly. Close. Okay. And you girls, I have to read that. My vision's it okay. says RS Germany. I looked this up. Oh, you did? I did. Is it worth $2? Yeah, it's definitely worth $2. There's some <laughs> she was joking like uh, it was worth <laughs> no. it was worth more. Uh, about $10 to $20, I would say. Okay, that's not bad. You might this need to do really more research, it's worth more yeah. having to ship. You know? No. Yeah. Yeah, I'm kind of over shipping the breakables. This, this week on vacation, I had two return requests because something broke, which is so rare for me, but I was getting ready for vacation and I guess didn't pack properly. So um, just gonna have to be careful because I now own a lot of hard goods in my basement also. Yeah. You can insert footage here. <laughs> <laughs> See, you now. It's perfect. <laughs> and um, yeah, but I thought it was pretty. The colors are pretty, you don't like it. Very fall decorish. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. My age group might like acorns. Yeah. Okay. It's not the acorns, it's just the color. It yeah. It's very odd too. <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> it's not my color, but I appreciate Yeah, but even on your wall. Look at these apple walls. Kind of looks Yeah. Yeah, I like it. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> What's next? This used body lotion. <laughs> um, Bath and Body Works, it's the Twisted Peppermint. Somebody has one of these listed for $30. What? Used or new? Used. I don't think I'll get $30. I'll probably price it for like maybe $8 to $10. I opened it and it's still almost full, but I can't, I can't use it full. It's so. amazing to me how some of the scents that are discontinued. Twisted peppermint. Money they bring. Yeah, I, I like have that. twisted peppermint at home right now. I'm Probably not this packaging. No, this packaging that's the old. Is, packaging. It's the old okay. packaging. Okay. So somebody so they might want really the old like. peppermint cream, not the new peppermint cream. Exactly. But it smells good still. It smells very pepperminty. Do they have expiration dates? No. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no, there's no expiration date printed. Okay, so when we list used cosmetics, is this considered cosmetics? Can we list used cosmetics? Is that we can allowed? list this. I don't know about body used cream. cosmetics. I yeah, don't think body you can cream. list cosmetics like anything that's put near the eye or lipstick, right? I don't know about I wouldn't that. want to. But yeah. Okay. But this is okay. I've sold and have something on currently that I just is a sold cream. a bottle of Wen shampoo. Yes. And um, yeah, and it was fine. Yeah. But you never know when you guys can. So I always look for those scents because there are some that are rare or discontinued and they are worth a lot of money. Not this one, but some. Yeah. Or um, the grass scent of cologne from Gap. I used to wear that all the time back in the day. I love that. And now that brings decent money. I know. And yeah. they used to sell it when it was discontinued for a couple dollars. Oh, it was yeah, like I think a dollar ninety seven or something. I remember us all being there picking your. But right? we should and have bought them all. Yes. Well, we did. We bought like four or six of them. <laughs> she went around them. smelling like you glass used for two years. I did. I was did. it worth it? You could have brought, gotten like a thousand dollars. Yeah, those. if I had it now, I'd sell them. Yeah, so everything. Then. Very rare. Do I keep anything? Okay, you're up next. Okay, so the next thing I picked up, which will not bring any money, is a brass cat. It's so cute. Who looks kind of creepy? That's kind of like why I like. Put it. your Halloween. hands behind it. Okay. And like get your head off to the side a little bit so it can focus it's focusing on your it's face. probably focusing on all of us okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay and i believe his tail is a ring holder mm -hmm. oh if i can get my ring off which i probably can how fun is that perfect sink accessory yes adorable i'm I thinking somebody could use it in a halloween decoration Oh, yeah, that too. Oh, yeah, and I think this is brass. Brass is never marked. I never see. Well, it's not never marked, but the brass that I saw, I've never seen a mark on it. So yeah, but um, I'm thinking I'm gonna put him on again <laughs> for too much money. No, <laughs> a lot of times I get it though. So um, I'm thinking twenty-two dollars for this brass cat. Good. Unless there's like a thousand of them on, and then I'll just sell it for eight bucks and be done. Yeah, still. So I probably only yeah. paid what fifty cents maybe. Yeah. But his face is cute. I think. Kind of creepy cute. Yeah. Not so much, huh? <laughs> it's the black eyes. I feel like it looks like a half raccoon, half cat. 
<laughs> it does. That's what it looks like. He's a scaredy cat. Oh. oh. <laughs> Perfect. Oh. <laughs> Next up, I bought a glass. It's worth nothing. <laughs> There are a set of four on for $40, but they haven't sold. It's made in Italy by a fairly well-known designer, and it's got some like gold things happening, and it's kind of colorful, isn't it? Yeah, it's kind of like a blue iridescent. Yeah, iridescence. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. I'm trying to block, block faces here. There you go. Out? No. Good. Yeah, I don't know. I'll list it. Um, this would be beautiful to put pens in or something, but I'll, I will list it for probably like $8. Do you use special keywords for that or you just go with what it is? I will look it up and then whatever everybody else is using, I will also use those. Oh, okay. So you don't say like romantic, shabby. It's a glass. <laughs> yeah. No, I probably should, but okay. no, I don't. Okay. Do you do that? I do. Okay. Yeah, makeup words. Although in our last video, together, which was a year ago now, it was. I said that I uh, called things uh, with the word like. Like if there was a Lily Pulitzer print item, but it wasn't Lily, I used Lily like. Well, I got away with that for a whole year and sold quite a bit of things, but now eBay's saying they can't caught me. It. Can't do it. So if you listen to that video, my advice, don't take that advice. <laughs> it wasn't Vero, but they said you can't do that. You can't. So using the word that. like in a title, yeah. along with a different designer name, yeah, the item that doesn't belong to the item you're selling is not a good idea. So because if yeah. a print looks exactly like Lily Pulitzer, it but it doesn't yeah. have Lily Pulitzer, you can't list it. Yeah, you can't put Lily. You can't Pulitzer equate it with another. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, they'll pull it. You got pulled. It, it took a year, and I saw yeah. quite a few things that way. <laughs> so don't do that. That's bad. Yeah. Okay. All right, next up is another plate. This is a angel's theme. And this, what does that say on the back? CL. And where is it made? Can we see where this is made? Is that England? Does it even say? It doesn't say. Okay. I think it's made in England. <laughs> <laughs> and this is a dark pink with a gold. And I thought somebody might like this. And I'm going to call this shabby romantic chic. Not shabby chic together, because that's Rachel. You can't use it. I can't say that? Mm -mm. I do that on a lot of my listings. Because shabby How and about chic this romantic are... chic without the shabby? I can't, can't interrupt. The shabby. I can't interrupt nope. shabby chic. You can't <gasps> can't use shabby and the word chic in the title unless it's shabby chic. Okay, I'll be going now to fix a few <laughs> <laughs> That'd be like using Ralph Lauren in a title, and you're just like, yes. Ralph. Dog. <laughs> You're like, yeah, you can't do that. Got it. Okay. So cut that part out of the video. <laughs> Start. Take two. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I have not looked these up, but I thought it was in good shape. I thought it would be worth, I'm going to sell this oh, for no, maybe no. $16. Oh, it does. Unless I find out it's worth a lot more. What did Lisa you say? said the, the, the color. color of the room, yeah. the bedroom she painted that color, and then she did the stenciling on. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Ages ago, when all of my everything was in aqua. Yes, yes, yes. We so, liked pink. What do you girls think? Is this a, is this a dud? I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> don't hold back. Don't hold back. I don't know. Yeah. I, is it a decorative plate or can you use no, it? I think it's no, it's decorative. decorative, I would think. I don't get the decorative plate thing, I think. Yeah. It's very 1960s thing, the whole decorative plate, because in the house, People it's got that place. decorative the shelf yes. yeah. Yeah. to yeah. put plates up there. I don't know though. You could do it even like an anthropology look with all different That's, kinds of plates. Yeah, like or a headboard or, or, or candles or something. Yeah. I don't know. I don't mind. I don't mind the actual picture. Okay. I don't like the pink with it because there's no pink in this that matches. Yeah. I agree. Oh, I didn't even. I didn't even get that far. I but because of that, it looks a little bit more anthropology. Yeah, I can yeah, see this that. pink color. Yeah, imagine if there was like navy blue polka dots along with that, just to have like a crazy. I think, or if it was a lighter pink. So if you're doing an anthropology themed bedroom and need plates, <laughs> that is the plate. <laughs> but anyway, right I, I figured, it. yeah, I figured this would be something. It's easy to ship. It. What did this cost me? Nothing. <laughs> this is so easy to ship. Oh, when until I, it breaks. <laughs> yeah. Story. Story. No, I recently had to ship 90 pieces of China. 
Hang on, and I got a saying, phone call saying, why did I do what? this? <laughs> <laughs> I got these and these are no good. Don't buy them. Oh. <laughs> Um, they're the black diamonds, so that just means they have this little black diamond diamond that says the classics. And if you Google this, there's like a BuzzFeed article and there are other articles saying these are worth major money. Totally not. Those people are liars. So I might get maybe Is it five to ten dollars. VHS? No, no black people diamond love these follow or VHS. I I don't know. It used to be that these were fairly rare, rare, I guess, and collectible, the black diamond. And they're for I just a while. I just thought it was a DVD. That would be more collectible at this point. I don't know. I didn't know what makes them. I've heard of it. What makes it, why it's a black diamond and not a regular? Is there extra footage? What, is it re-released? I don't know if this is oh, the, original? the original, maybe. I don't know. If anybody knows tell you. out there, leave a comment down below so we can all get educated. Yeah. But people bringing back VCRs and VHS is absolutely a thing. Like, newer families want these kinds of things. Yes. Wouldn't that be cool for Team to it have a would. VCR and have like all these kinds? Say no, she's gonna give it to you. No. <laughs> <laughs> she's like, here you go. You don't it's have a VCR, okay. but these are now <laughs> yours. I'll send you the VCR <laughs> next week with your box. Yeah. <laughs> VCRs though have a huge following, so if you can find one, they are worth money. A bunch of my clients still have VHS because they still want. Wait, to are we saying all VCR machines? Are machines. Worth money? If they work, you can seriously get maybe a hundred to hundred and fifty. I think if they're in really good shape. I thought it was only the ones that have both DVD and VCR and they take the movie from one and burn it on to the other. I thought it had oh. to be like a component system, not so I don't they know can get rid that. of their VHS. Like tr just transfer I'm everything I'm not sure over. if those are just better quality, you know, they were originally more money and they're more versatile because they have both then because people still use DVDs. I don't know. Huh. Is anybody even still using DVDs? No, yeah. <laughs> the woman who owns all of BBC's movies. <laughs> oh yeah, she's classic. So maybe five to ten dollars okay. a piece, or all no, together? all together. Oh, okay. And I was charged a quarter a piece, so I paid a dollar fifty. Okay. Hmm. 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 All right. What else do I have here? Yeah. This is the last of the plates. And this is another item that I was going to put back and I said, oh look, they have an Atomic 50s print. You were going to put them back until she wanted them again. Yes, yes, because Melissa's been doing this a lot longer than I am and you she knows. Better, though. She knows. So when I see she wants something, I keep it. You can't have it. <laughs> when I see her eyes go, oh, that's something. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't giving it to you. <laughs> So yeah, just four saucers, saucers. They're not the main ones, like I think those are called Frischkin, something with an F. Frischkin? Do you know the brand of the ones you make? Not this type of... Somebody no. knows it. It's I know like yeah. to wear on those type of, but no. I don't know the word you're saying. Okay. okay. It's Taylor Stone? Taylor Stone. Taylor Stone. This is Callaway. Mm -hmm. It's kind of it's kind of chipped off, but um, 50s mid-century modern is so hot. Yes, and you have four. And it's yeah. Christmas. What? Is what? This? this is a Christmas print, you're saying? Yeah. I thought these were Christmas trees. Oh, I thought they do look like Christmas, Christmas trees. trees. No, I think this is just more of like a 50s. But you're right. Yeah. It totally looks like Christmas trees. Huh? I know. Okay. That would be fun to put out at Christmas. That's yeah. what I thought right away. Oh, I didn't look at that. Out. Okay. So for the four plates, I have no idea what we're going to get because I didn't look up anything at the bins because time was up the essence. We had half hour. Yeah, and we were rushing and she And then we out. took a little longer. <laughs> <laughs> Lisa gave us a few extra minutes. What do you want? Doesn't matter. Oh, this, this is a nothing. So along with that blouse, I thought I could just put this in with the blouse people, oh, that's like cute. it's an extra thing, because like how it, it, like, it vaguely, sure, hold up my blouse. It's just a Christmas ornament, and the colors aren't perfect, but Makes it's snap shut, so I thought that would be a fun thing for somebody. Very cute. A little surprise. <laughs> yes. You're so nice to your customers. Oh, you really are. 
Okay. Mom's next. No, I'm next. next. <laughs> I'm just so excited First to find this. doesn't do well taking turns. That's how we roll. Yeah. <laughs> Plus, I have a lot more than you. Um, Cabbage Patch Original 1980s Packaging. I'll sell this for about $7. It'll be a quick sale. Easy, easy. But it has everything. And the Cabbage Patch name was Deborah Janet. Oh. Such an 80s name, Deborah yes. Janet. And her mom was named Paula. And her dad was named... Is her mom Xavier Roberts? No, oh, is that oh. that's who made it. Xavier is the um, man who made, but it says father's full name. So, Mr. Cabbage Patch, that's his Xavier. Xavier. I bet you he has his name as the father on all, all of them, them. I would think. Oh, very cool. And it has the footprints and all of the things. Yeah. You girls have Thanks, those. Like, we remember, did have yeah. them. I remember the big run on Cabbage Patch, and, and then Lisa wanted the preemie, and nobody could get one, and then we found a friend who worked at Toys R Us, and <laughs> he called at the last minute and got Lisa a preemie for Christmas. Oh, you were little. Wow. You were only like three. Do yeah. you remember? I feel like I remember yours more than mine. Really? Yeah. I remember mine. Yeah. With the yarn hair, right? It was yes. brown? Did she have braids? She had a homemade one that somebody made to look like her. It was one of those <gasps> knockoff homemade Maybe that was special. special. <laughs> <laughs> I love yes, how she says were. it and then looks at me like. <laughs> I, I had one that was me. You had a store one. <laughs> <laughs> she had a custom one. <gasps> Thanks. Oh my goodness. Okay. I think my last item is... We're going to make you try these on, by the way. And these were in the bins. This was not part of the deal. <laughs> and this was... <laughs> so he's 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 such a bin. Just keep, keep reminding us that this was... In... Okay, so these are chaps. I am so not... I think this is... You don't have to try them on. Thank you very much. These are women's You have to hold them up. Okay. Long leather, bike riding pants, motorcycle. They're in decent shape. I think this is put out by Leather King. Yes. Leather and they're King. a size extra small. Extra small, which oh. would never get on my body. I think they're a men's extra small, though. I think these are the ladies. Oh, okay. But we'll see. Well, I don't know how we'll There's tell. zippers and yeah. snaps. There's a lot going on. I don't for. think a man's leg would fit in this. Even extra small. I don't know. Yeah, how would we and tell? I feel like I've never seen a men's extra small anything. What's going to denote on these, whether it's men's or women's? I think it's a numbers. They unisex? So Probably. Not right? the size though. Yeah, I don't know. But maybe this company only makes extra small, small, medium, and you just know what your size is. I don't know. Okay. Be great for riding motorcycle though, so if you fall off, you don't skin I'm it. going by the waist. I think these are women's because you wear them down on your hips a little bit, right? And then this is this is this. Yeah. Yeah, I think and they're short. You look good in them. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> but um I haven't really looked at comps, I just looked quickly <laughs> and I'm thinking maybe thirty or forty dollars. Yes, they're not I did forty. Yeah. And, and they were heavy. Yeah. This this has gotta be three pounds by the time you ship it. So right? That's a heavy. Yeah, you probably paid yeah. about four dollars for those. Yeah, still fine. Still good. Good. So that was my last item. Okay. So vote for me. <laughs> <laughs> I have more items. This is a cable car music box. It's worth like five dollars. I looked it up. It's not worth a lot. It's, a, it's really cute though. Lisa pulled this from a blanket. Now it was the end of the day, so I don't feel bad about taking this from a disgusting blanket. But these, um, mine's Sunbeam, but there's other brands. The heating blankets that plug in and need this cord go bad. And so I sell these as soon as I get them. And I've probably sold about 10. So this will probably go for about 12 to 15 dollars. Now how do you test this to see if you don't have a blanket to, do you own a blanket to plug it into? To I don't. See if it... All I do is plug it into the wall. Okay. And then hit this and, and it light light up, lights okay. up. I'm good to go. Oh really? Yeah. Okay. I have tested them in the store but we have a time limit. Okay. So they're in the blanket. So I just put it in. Okay, so you're just testing that it powers on because yes. if it powers on most likely it heats. It's okay. Yep. And won't cause a major fire in the person's bed. Don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> no no uh yeah. No guarantee. Next video we might go back in it. <laughs> put a little Do disclaimer that. in there. Yeah. Plastic plates. You guys know I am on a hunt for plastic plates. 
We have such a beautiful china set, we don't use it. My husband likes plastic plates that can go in the microwave and they're hard to find. So these can be microwaved, that's wow. the big thing. They yeah, are freezer, dishwasher, microwave. Safe. All the things safe. So there's two plates, we did they clean them. Plates. This one has a little bit of overspray from something, I couldn't figure it out, but they're nice and clean. Yeah, they do look like paper and they're just yeah. like hard. I wish they would plastic, it sounds dumb. Plastic I know can't go in the oven most likely, but I wish they made more of a sturdy oven safe. Well, that'd be good. China. Like silicone is rubbery and floppy. Huh. Yeah, design that. Get on. <laughs> so we're keeping these. Just what I want to eat on baked plastic. <laughs> Do you want these? They're going to make noise. Sure, bring them over. The hula <laughs> skirts. So I found them and I told everybody they had to wear one. But then I realized yesterday that when you wear one, it's loud. And I have four, so we'll just drape it over our I accidentally got an extra. Well, do, do it very quietly. Oh, we're putting them on? Stand up. <laughs> we're not you know, I'm not going to put them on. Oh, we're just okay. Them. We need to insert music here. <laughs> I will. Join in, Mom. I'm not sorry. <laughs> I'm like trying to roll things. I shouldn't be rolling. Wait, mine isn't dry. <laughs> I'm like trying to like, I don't know how it works. <laughs> Isn't there a hand movement? <laughs> Wait a second. No. This is not the hand movement. <laughs> I can't hear. Oh, you really tied yours on? I didn't tie them on. No, I didn't tie them on. Okay, we're tying them on. Can somebody do me? Yep. Okay, give me one second to you. Oh, I'm going to wind up nodding this. I know. Not being able to get it out. Yeah. We'll cut it off. <laughs> And then we'll have a fire and we'll have to run out in the hula skirts. Oh, so fun. Yeah. Oh, so fun. I feel like the hula skirt would catch fire. <laughs> okay, and we're dancing. But we need music. Okay, and seriously, music. how do we dance though? Because I don't okay. have a dance. <laughs> <laughs> Was I doing the movement yeah. right then? Sure. Her <laughs> hips <laughs> <laughs> keep bumping into me. We need to get a rhythm. This is so attractive. You signed up to do this. Okay, I did. I didn't. <laughs> I didn't. Okay, so okay, so you have to sing. I want to go back to my little grass shack. Okay, singing. Go on. No, and you, <laughs> there's no singing. We need music. If we're gonna, if we're I'll gonna overlay. Music. She'll insert I have okay. music. Okay. Okay. Right. Which way are we starting? To the left. Okay, so we go like this. <laughs> no, one, two. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's what mom's got okay. going on. <laughs> Oh my gosh. One, two, one, two. There you go. One. This is not full of dance. No, if you get faster and faster, she's I like, have no idea what this is. It's gonna turn into a competition at any moment. I can feel it coming. Alright. I, I feel like it's that. I feel like Why are you doing that? Okay. Your grandmother was a professional Tahitian dancer. She was? My mother, yeah. Oh, this is amazing. I need a drink. Okay. Of course, we just take four. We can right take there. four. Is that what it is? Five. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we should have filmed that. We are. It's still recording. <laughs> I wish we were filming. Mom's <laughs> walking away. She's going <laughs> to. And you get to swallow without it coming out my nose. It's not take four? No. Take four. Is it, isn't that a candy bar? Or is that take five also? Connect four. <laughs> <laughs> I sing all the best. Yeah, that would have been hysterical. It's, it's a recording. <laughs> no, but the real recording. Of course, it's going to make it onto the video. It, it, it make will. It. We're totally. Yes. Oh, no. We're no. totally putting this in there. Next step. I'm so excited about this. We have a neighbor, Jason who has been spending time with me and learning to vlog. And when I say that, I mean, he has just been like vlogging. What he thinks vlogging is. And he came over last night. And how old is he? Six. He's so cute. I'll show you pictures of him. I'm not going to insert footage of him, but I will probably overlay some of his audio on a different video at some point, because it's <laughs> just adorable. But anyway, so I picked this up for him. It is, and it works a laptop with learning games and it has a mouse that works we put fresh batteries in it lisa helped and there's all sorts of games 
So you're giving this to him because the comps must not be that great. All right, I haven't even looked it up. <gasps> I thought oh. you looked it up. Yeah, Did and it that? was from the UK? Wasn't it? You oh, only found oh, the ones right. from like this two right. or three of them. Yes. Yes, and what were they going for? 35 or something like that? But that was UK. Something. UK dollars. That yeah. was euros. Do they have euros in UK? They do, right? I think it's Canadian. I don't know. It works really well. It's it's not like the best <laughs> digital screen ever, but you can see it and play the games. Yeah. Oh, he's going to love that. Bear and I were playing music games last <laughs> night on it. Is that my last item? That's your last item. Okay, so now you have to vote down. Should we give them a, a run through really quickly of our better things we found? I think you won. Um, I think and I won. Because I think we everybody agrees that the bins eight dollars and eighty-eight cents, eight dollars and ninety cents. Wow, so really close. That's amazing. Yeah. Okay. I actually talked over. What did you say? <laughs> <laughs> oh, were you talking? <laughs> The chaps. Yeah. The chaps. For sure. Well, the fishing shirt was pretty shirt good was too. Good. That'll go. And my creepy cat is cheap, but. Yeah, I have a lot of little cats. things and They're then the cat latch patch. That's, that's my favorite. favorite. What's the favorite? The cabbage patch birth certificate. Really? Okay. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. And I love the Christmas top and Jason will be wearing oh, yeah. the last Yeah, the Christmas so blouse. Yeah. What do you think you're going to get for that Christmas blouse? I don't know, maybe $25. Okay. Nothing I insane. I said it like 44. Yeah, I'd like probably do 40. Right? Yeah. I'll look to see what others are going yeah. for, but it's really Melissa has really a lot good. more realistic pricing than I do. Her stuff moves. Mine sits for a while. Mine sells. I sell well, but I'm willing to sit on mine for like six months to a year. I don't yeah. care. I list it. It goes into You have right? storage. Yes. That That's what it's all about, yes. right? Yeah. If you have the capital to buy. Yes. The mental capability to keep track of it all. And the storage. Yeah. The storage. Yeah. But you're, you flip stuff in. Thanks. We're probably making twice what I'm making. I highly doubt that. <laughs> so we had fun. And do we want to say anything else? Lisa? No. Don't, don't, don't put me on the spot. No. no. We're having a fun time. Mom? <laughs> <laughs> we are. Yes. I'm not holding yes. them hostage here. <laughs> Somebody else say you're having a fun time. I love it here. It's, yeah. it's like when we're kids. Say you're having fun. Yes. Just say say yes. you're having fun. I love being with my kids. Missing my son who wasn't able to make it, but yes, I love being with you girls and it's beautiful down here and, and soon I have to go back to work. He may work, but it's, yep. it's been a good rest, so good. Yes. Well, I'm glad to have you. Thank you, sweetie. And you. Thank you. <laughs> As an afterthought. <laughs> Talk to you all later. Bye. Bye. I wanted to again thank my sister and my mom for coming down and we had a blast. Um, as I'm sure you can see in the video, we just cackle and laugh the entire time. So I had a lot of fun with them. And look what my sister bought me. <laughs> it says Aquaholic. Isn't it so good? They are on their way back home to Pennsylvania, so I won't see them again for a little bit. But I'll miss you guys. I love you and my mom is on Instagram under Lavender Clothesline. She doesn't have a YouTube channel, unfortunately. I will have her handle down below if you wanted to follow her on Instagram. And she is about to hit 10,000 followers and I am about to hit 10,000 followers on Instagram, which blows my mind so crazy as I've only been on Instagram for just over a year. So she posts what she finds at Goodwill and she does amazingly well, like amazingly well. And um, she lists a lot of hard goods and clothing, so if you're interested, feel free to follow her. We are planning on having a big giveaway when we get closer to that 10,000 mark, which will probably be next month. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. We hope your day is blooming with joy.